I am back in the kitchen with Chef Chadwick Boyd. We're making your favorite BLT, or at least the ingredients, and we're putting them into other recipes. We made that amazing pie before the break. What are we going to do now? Well, we've got more summer in the kitchen, but on Sunday morning, instead of doing pancakes with your kids, uh -huh. we've got corn cakes, and look how beautiful they turn out. They look just like pancakes. Yeah, instead of adding syrup, we've got a little trick with some bacon. Oh, I love it. You ready to make it? Let's make it. All right, so I've got in this bowl a half a cup of all-purpose flour. Okay. And then this is what makes this unique. I've got some cornmeal, some white cornmeal, so why don't you dump that in there. Okay, white cornmeal. Yeah, right. that's another half a cup. A, a tablespoon of baking powder. Is that already that pre-measured there for yeah, me? Yeah, just throw it in. Heaven knows I will get it wrong. You like easy in the kitchen. There's some salt some and black salt. pepper. Okay. And then just mix your dry ingredients up. Okay. And while you do that, I'm going to dump in a cup of whole milk. Whole milk, not buttermilk. No, whole okay. milk. Okay, whole milk. Yeah. And then two eggs. Simple, easy. See, you can do this with your kids. So you really totally can. Easy. All simple ingredients and all stuff you probably have at home already. Yeah, pretty much on hand. And this costs like maybe $1.29. Like Great. And then, once you get all that mixed up, okay, got a cup of corn. And you can do some fresh corn. Sometimes I like to do that. But for easy uh, purposes, you can go to the grocery store and just get a small package, let it thaw, drain it, and then throw that in. And what that does, it makes it nice and sweet. Boy, and that, and that whipped up in no time at all. I mean, we are... Yeah, we're rocking and rolling. All right, so then just get your griddle really hot. I've got this uh, cast iron griddle. And just take about maybe a quarter of a cup and just put them on there like that. And we're, you're cooking them up essentially just like pancakes. Yeah, exactly. Simple, easy. They're going to bubble up just like pancakes do. And that'll, yeah. and that'll let you know when you're supposed to flip them. You just flip yeah, them once. Like every like two or three minutes. And then while that's cooking, we've got another secret. We've candied some bacon. This I'm a huge fan of candying you bacon. Know, you, I love what you, you do. You can go to the grocery store and get all kinds of cuts of bacon. I've just got regular applewood smoked bacon here, and we've thrown on some brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Just take, you know, just a little bit in your fingers. You can do this with your kids, too. And sometimes what I like to do is throw in some chipotle or some cayenne pepper for a little kick. A little spice. Yeah. And, and look how beautiful that how looks How long like. do you need to bake it to get like it to look that good? 15, 17 minutes on 350 in the oven. Just watch it. I love it for cleanup. Uh, cooking bacon in the oven is so much easier. A lot easier. So much cleaner. When we are done, we pull those off after we flip them. And, and tell me about how you plated this up. And then perfect for a party. You just stack them. I slice some beautiful heirloom tomatoes that I got at the farmer's market. A little bit of mescaline, and then here's buttermilk, dill, and some Greek yogurt with some lemon juice, and you just top it oh, like this. Beautiful, simple, easy, reinvented BLT. Looks absolutely delicious. Before we run out of time, you and I were talking earlier, you pulled the sriracha out of your bag when you got here, and I said, oh, I love sriracha, but you're using it in the way I've never seen. This is my secret ingredient. Look, my friend. Okay. A fresh tomato Bloody Mary. With, 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 what's inside? With Wait for it. Pepper bacon. Pepper bacon. So what happens is the, the black pepper from the bacon actually uh, gets into the tomato and flavors it and seasons it all together. And a little a little sprig of lettuce just to keep us there in. There you go. We got the BLT going on. Cheers to you, Chadwick. Thank you for being thank here. You this guys. is uh, mm. Oh, that'll wake you up in the morning. Mm. That's really good. Thank you. You can find these recipes summer in the kitchen on our website, bettertv.com or in Better Homes and Gardens magazine.